Welcome back. You're still watching Politics Tonight, digging beyond the headlines. And now to our interview with the guests of the day. I am now joined by the founding chairman of the All Progressives Grand Alliance, Abga Tekwasukori. In 2012, he also became the founding chairman of the United People's Party, UPP. Thank you very much for joining us, Chief Okori. Thank you. Thank you All right. for having me. You're one of the founding members of APCA. I'd like to know why did you leave the party and what has changed to make you return to the party? Thank you. I didn't leave the party because I wanted to leave the party. I founded this party in 2002. I was only two years in office as chairman when crisis erupted. We did everything that could be done under the law to save the soul of the party. But there were forces outside the party, forces even outside the Southeast, which is the core base of the party, that did not want the party to exist. And so those forces came together. And uh, we had to contend with fighting about four different forces, which included the federal government of that time. And INEC uh, conspiring along with them. And of course, those uh, from the Southeast put together. And we fought this battle in the courts for eight good years. In eight years, INEC recognized me as chairman three different times in eight years with letter written to say nothing had happened to warrant my being removed as chairman of party. The party had not held a convention to change its leadership in writing. So much so that by Governor Pito B second term, it became difficult for INEC to accept any person's signature to nominate him, except that of my own and my national secretary then, which was uh, Barista Omar Bello. But the government in Anambra State, under Governor Pitobi, had gone to a local court in Anambra State to obtain an injunction that I could not sign a nomination form. So it became a problem. If I couldn't sign, who else would sign? Nobody was chairman. I was pleaded with not to allow the warm state we had to die based on this technical ground. So I agreed that the late Dimodume Gojuku, who was not an officer of the party, could sign along with uh, the national secretary of the party, Baristomaru Bello from uh, Zamfara State, and that I will not go back to court to challenge it. I accepted. I kept my own side of the bargain. That was how Governor P2B was able to go for a second time. All these details are contained in my book titled Afghan and the Igbo Question. So when the battle continued, even after Governor P2B had gone successfully into a second term, and they decided that there was not going to be a reconciliation. And I then turned around to begin to indulge Victor May as chairman. Without a court judgment, as I speak, there's none that said Victor May was chairman. But I then continued to indulge him. I decided that after eight years of struggle, it was time to move on and form another party with the same vision, with the same ideology. So you could see that I did not just walk out. In fact, I returned the APGA certificate of registration voluntarily to the Independent National Electoral Commission. I think I remain the first Nigerian ever to return the registered certificate of a party to the issuing authority voluntarily, without a court order, without any other thing, in order to move on. Many right, followed me. Chief. We moved on and founded UNPP. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, during that period, uh, there were allegations of anti-party activities on your part. How true is that? 
it was all part of the propaganda to be able to malign me. How can I do anti-party activity for a party I founded? Let me tell you, it took me three attempts in seven years to found ABGA. ABGA was the very first political party in the history of Nigeria, ever founded by an Igbo man. Since 1922, when party politics began in Nigeria. So, Abga was founded 80 years, 80 good years after party politics started in Nigeria. It was so celebrated that Ohane Zendibo, the Apex Ibo organization, gave me the title of Obatulene Ndibo, the one that killed an elephant for his people. It is inconceivable that uh, I will be the one to do anti-party activity against my own party. The party that cost me everything that I had. And the, the party for which my life was put on the line. The party that gave me to be the political exposure to be what he is. That provided, that rehabilitated the Modume Gojuku politically. I was the one that single-handedly made him a presidential candidate and raised his hand at Abuja on the 10th of January 2003. And he became our presidential candidate and shone like a thousand stars. I became the first person in Nigeria to found a political party and did not use it to run for election. How can I make all of those sacrifices and still turn around to do anti-party activity on my party. Nobody could prove it. You know, in propaganda, people who coin, those who coin those things against me, where are they today? They have all run away from party, and those uh, party, party leaders came back and begged me in an open ceremony to return and help rebuild the party. In an emotional visit, there was nowhere to say no to them because I'm passionate and emotionally attached to Afghan. And Igbo people are uh, sentimentally and emotionally attacked to Abga. And so I'm back and I'm back for good. Those who accuse me of anti-party activity turned out to become base of passage who, after plundering that party, ran away to other places. And they are in other places now where they are going through their own tribulations. All right. Chief Okore, uh, before we go ahead, let's go for this commercial break and I'll be right back. Please stay with us.